Welcome everyone. Uh, I am just loving these videos that I'm making because I'm sharing them with you and it's so much fun to know you're here and that you're watching and that you're sharing this adventure that I'm having <clears throat> playing with these textiles and uh, designing and creating and coming up with new ways and new things to inspire myself and hopefully you too. I hope you're enjoying uh, my channel and if you are, please consider subscribing and also sharing it. Uh, that helps me a lot to grow. And I'd like to be able to grow this channel. <clears throat> so anyway, let's get into uh, today's video, which is about this Stitch by Stitch project. And uh, you know that I upload those videos every Sunday. And I show you what I've done next. All right, I've got 12 of these finished, so today I have four more. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16 that I've got done so far, and January isn't over, so I am doing very well. And this is a fun project because any time that you have 20 or 30 minutes, you can sit down and design out a four by four, and then stitch on a little bit, uh, through the day and you got it done basically. So some may take a little longer, but really they're a short process. And I hope you caught my video on creating greeting cards out of, uh, because that was about using these four by fours. And if you didn't catch it, it's in the playlist. I have a playlist for the Stitch by Stitch project. So you can catch up on it there. So let me go through the four that I've done. Uh, now I have showed this before. I did this for another channel's uh, project that I wanted to play along with. And so this is a, a little landscape showing the weather uh, in this time of year around where I live. Even though we don't get a lot of snow here, from time to time we do get a little snow and ice. This last week uh, we certainly did. Uh, it's down in the teens here in Northeast Texas, which is extremely cold for us and doesn't come very often, maybe once a year. And some years we don't get it like that at all. <clears throat> but this was my little landscape. I wanted to show the starkness, yet the beauty of winter. Here we have a, a plant that's obviously lost all its leaves and everything and it's dormant, it's kind of stark. The, the colors stay in the cold, chilly blues and the grays. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, of course then the whites. But the ice and the snow glisten. When the sun hits them, they're just beautiful. And I wanted to portray that with this silvery glitzy fabric here. And I think I captured what I wanted. Uh, uh, when I look at this piece, I feel chilled to the bone. <laughs> and uh, I think it really captures it well. So I hope you like that one. Now, this one is very simple and it's just a heart that is has been collaged on different piece of fabric and cut out. I added the little motif there and put it on a little bit of fancy fabric. And I think that's very pretty. And I'm gonna just leave that very, very plain like that. And uh, I'll see what I do with that in the end. The next one is, you may remember when I showed the video on how I make little raggy flowers made them out of, uh, I think the video was uh, how to make flowers out of three knots. And that's what this flower is made of. And so I put the flower down. I couched a black yarn around it just to pull it up away from the background because the colors kind of made it recede into the background. And then I uh, couched yarn around to kind of border the piece and I thought that finished it out pretty well. I, I really like that too. And it is totally very me, very raggy. This piece <clears throat> was uh, in the background. There are four strips and these are torn pieces of scarves. There's two different scarves here. Here's two strips of one, 
two strips of another. Colors played together very well. Then this floral I cut out of a kind of a, it was a, a blousy um, thing and I cut it out one of the flowers and then I stitched you know the green on the outside and this blue green on here and then the pink and peach in there and I thought that looked very good I liked I liked that and the and the motif just added uh, a little something extra the, the stitching just took it home with the hand uh, sewing there and then I, of course I did some stitching around in the background but I love that piece too of course you know me I love everything <laughs> But sh shouldn't we love what we do? I mean, really, uh, I, you know, how can you not love what you sit down and make? Now, this one, I had collaged uh, a bigger piece of fabric and cut it up into squares. And so this was one of the squares and it had this little B thing on it. And uh, it had a lot of uh, uh, fabric, uh, threads running through it. I did a little embroidery on here. And then I wanted to put a little border on it. And all I did was is I put a piece of backing on it and just folded it over and stitched it down, made it very rough, very, very raggy looking, okay? I love that too. Definitely staying rag happy here and scrap happy too. <laughs> but I love all of those. And I, they're going to make totally different looks with whatever I do with them. But uh, that's my five. And so actually I'm up to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm up to 17 for the year so far. I said I don't know how many I can make in a year. I'd love to make one a day, but I can't promise that. And so, and... In fact, you know, I'm behind now because I've only got 17. But that's not my goal, making one a day. It's just to see how many I can make in a year. Because however I make any many I make in a year, I am going to have a stash. And you can make so many little gift items with these. The first one is the a greeting card. Don't forget to go look at that a video. I'll, uh, if I don't forget, I'll put the description uh, link in the description for you because those are really easy and so personal and you can do that for anybody uh, that you want to especially if you've already got these made up you've got a little fabric to work with and you've got a little cardstock you can put a greeting card together in 30 minutes when you've already got your focal point done okay all right now in that greeting card I used a um Let's see, where is that? I used a, a little pendant as an inside decoration and I'm going to make a video on how I how I put together pendants and uh, little scrappy pendants that you can use for all kinds of things. But uh, probably next week you can look for that video. All right, well, that's my update for the Stitch by Stitch project. I got five done this week. Uh, please, if, if you are following along and you're posting at all, uh, please um, use a hashtag so I can find you here on YouTube. And also, uh, I would love to invite you to come over to my Facebook group. It's called Stitching uh, Slow Stitching on the Balcony. And join in and post your slow stitching there. Uh, we have a pretty good sized group, but sad to say we don't have a lot that post. So we're lacking inspiration. And uh, so I just love to see some of your work and make sure you let me know that you're coming over from YouTube. And uh, so I can also follow your channel. So thank you so much for being here and definitely stay scrap happy.